about to tune in. Give us just a hey, hey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I would do your intro without you having to sit there and um and react because I've, I've done yeah, I'm, I'm sitting wait, waiting for you to <laughs> have to see and I'm just uh, looking forward to see what I'm gonna hear from you about me and um, my career. Fun. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. You're looking fresh, nice. How are oh, you? This is my only excuse all week to put real clothes on, to put some makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we have time for that, right? Exactly. How is um, yeah. how is life in Serbia right now? Is there have you still got restrictions? Yeah, well, after eight weeks, this is the first uh, free weekend, let's say. Uh, usually during the weekends we have like police hour starting from Friday or Thursday from 6 p.m. until Monday 5 a.m. Uh, but now this is the first weekend that it's like free until 6 p.m. So it uh, it's the situation is getting better and better. So Good. we are more, yeah we are more relaxed. Oh wow! That no, that is great. So I, you, yeah. around the world, we're seeing things like opening up a little. Are you are you completely open then this weekend? Is all the shops open? No, 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 not not everything. But uh, let's say from last um, a week, uh, we are free to train outside. Like yay! Yes, finally. I saw that you are back on the track. So yes, that must be so <laughs> yeah. nice. So wait, how long did you have to spend away from the track? Seven weeks. Seven weeks, yeah. Oh, it was. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it felt it felt uh, different uh, since I did. Uh, I don't remember how many times in my life did I did so much workouts on the treadmill in my whole life, like yeah. these few weeks. So the the feeling was pretty crazy. Uh, my body hurts uh, less day because it's <laughs> like I I get to know the running and. Uh, different, different, different perspective again. Yeah, it's been it's been the same here. It's pretty different. It's gonna feel weird getting back on the track. I, yes. I'm very jealous <laughs> that you're already on it, but it's gonna feel. Yeah, exciting. I wanted to ask you: Are you in USA or where are you now? I'm in uh, the UK. UK? Are you in Europe? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I I was supposed to go back, but the day I was supposed to go, Trump banned the UK from flying. Okay. So, I'm still here. I'm still at home. Uh, what's the situation back home? Um, we are still in lockdown, so there's no tracks open. You can exercise outside, but only like in the street or on. That's uh, all your weightlifting training <laughs> in front <laughs> of your home. Yeah, it was fun for for it's, neighbors like that. I think so. I mean, well, that's fun for the neighbors. The um, my downstairs neighbors are moving out. I think they can hear me on my treadmill, and they're moving <laughs> out like this weekend. Really? Yeah. Because of you? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope Maybe. not. You don't want to ask. <laughs> oh right. So you've been doing. You're back on the track now, but you've had treadmill sessions. How else have you been training in in this lockdown? I mean, it was definitely different for all of us, I think. Uh, the good thing was that I was able to train in my gym at home. Oh, so okay. I did some weights and runnings and uh, I improvise as much as possible. That's but, pretty uh, good. Yeah, I mean, I'm still waiting to see what this 2020 season will have to offer to us. Will we have a season? I don't know. <laughs> will we, will we long jump this year? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we need to stay in shape though, but we will see tomorrow. No, in Monday evening, we will have the uh, party committee uh, meeting. So I guess we will yeah, speak a little bit about the meetings and just to see, is it going to be possible to have at least a couple of competitions? be nice to have something right it feels yes. like it's been forever <laughs> yes <sighs> I agree. sorry i say i agree yeah so outside of training how have you been filling your time in lockdown have you been finding any new skills or new hobbies you know 
since I, I really think I'm having a lot of uh, luck that I'm living in the house mm -hmm. with the backyard, so there's a plenty of uh, things to do there. And uh, since day one, I knew that it's always going to be some work from on a daily basis. So pretty not not too much new hobbies, but plenty of time for all hobbies. Plenty so yeah, stuff. What about um? You've been cooking plenty. What is your best dish? What if I came for dinner, Ivana? What would you cook for me? Uh, it depends <laughs> what you like. If you I, like, I, I, I mean, yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I really like since forever I love to cook, and my older brother is a uh, chef, so I learn from him a, a lot of things. And uh, from all, from I mean, since I was I don't know, eighteen, I start cook cooking, and uh, usually when it's of the season or when we are home in Serbia. Um, during the summer especially we love to meet in my house a lot of friends so every time they come I love to make what whatever they love and uh, if I'm able to eat then it's like 10 dishes <laughs> if not then just maybe one or two I mean I, I know to make whatever well that's one thing right now is it's kind of like well we might have a season so I don't want to eat everything but yes. I kind of want to cook everything. Everybody's getting into baking and making, like I'm making yeah. bread and cakes and I'm on my own here. So there's no, I yes. have no business making I, bread. I saw 17 cookies for you. <laughs> I had yeah, to that deliver them around the town. I had to go and put them <laughs> in people's houses because there's too many. I'm just going to say hi to everybody who's tuned in because you have, Ivana, there's a lot of love for you here. Yeah, and, Sima. A lot of love for you in general in Serbia. I remember, so for everybody watching, Ivana invited me to come and jump in the street with her in 2016 in Belgrade. And I have never in my life seen so much love for long jump. People love you. And I tell you what, I gained so much support from Serbia since then, ever, all the way through to now. People still message me who came to watch that competition. Yeah, I know, I know. You know, I know. people, I mean, you, you have so much support at home. Yes. Yeah, I'm really thankful for that. And I really enjoy it. I mean, you saw the atmosphere and uh, it was really crazy. I mean, uh, just before this interview, I was explaining my mom how this live thing working and when i said that we are i'm gonna speak with you and chat with you she said oh she's so nice and say hi to her so greetings for my mom oh, <laughs> hi to your mom that is so sweet that is just she was also in belgrade watching you jumping and i told you like people really loved your energy and oh uh, that's they... just that's so so sweet honestly i am um... <laughs> I've never felt such a warm welcome as when I, I was in Serbia competing with you. I just think, I think part of that is, is the relationship that you have built with your, your fans at home. Um, but it was such a welcoming environment. You know, athletics, I think, no, I, don't, I don't know fully, but maybe before you sort of rose to prominence, athletics wasn't a hugely popular sport in Serbia. Is that, is that fair? Yes. Do you think you've built I mean, a profile? You know, everybody likes, I don't know, let's say champions, heroes, whatever. And, uh, you know, from time to time we have some new champions in some other sports. And when we have champion in one sport, then everybody starts doing that sport. And But, you know, the, the main thing I love about what I do besides the, my competitions and uh, the things I do is that uh, a lot of athletic clubs and you're, um, around the Serbia is in Serbia are fully booked with uh, a lot of kids. So wow. I think it's like the biggest success of all of, I mean, athletes and uh, athletic people here. So I think, I mean, after me and after my medals, when I retire, it's going to stay records and... Uh, Medals are going to stay, and I'm really happy to see who's going to break them and who is going to be new me. I mean, I love that. To be able to inspire so many people to take something up that maybe they hadn't have even thought of doing. 
if you yeah. look around the country and know that people have started this sport because of you. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I, I just love to uh, just show people and especially kids that if if they work hard enough and if they stick with their goals and just stay focused on what they want, it's really achievable. And I'm here just to to say it, it, it just like that. It's well, so simple. you're showing them. You are showing them. And actually, yeah, that's sorry. a nice tie-in. Let's talk about 2012 because you, you've you talked about before how that was one of the most sort of significant moments for you the 2012 yeah. Olympics in your career. Could you could you tell us a little bit more about that, please? Well, you know, it was like, um, I think every single athlete have that period in career where they start to question their self, are they on the wrong or right direction? Are they doing good enough? Or are, is there something they can improve? Or is there biggest bigger purpose of what they're doing in that given moment. Uh, 2012 was really difficult year for me because I suffered from injuries in 2011. Two years before that, I moved to another city, start working with coach I'm working now with Goran. Uh, there was a lot of changes. And before that, I was just a junior who win a world championship and I was second second in the European and uh, you know I was young I was um, I think I didn't have patience just to uh, focus on what's really important in that moment because you know from senior to from junior to seniors you're going to competition and compete with five more world champions suddenly champions it's different. you're winning cool. you're winning you're winning and then yeah, yeah. in you go now yeah. better than you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like you're competing against you um, like 10 times. And it, it was really not uh, easy. And um, I was struggling with, the, you know, a lot of changes, a lot of pressure, expectations, and uh, a lot of things. And, um, you know, I was, I was in London and I went to finals. I was felt, and I remember after that I was I was going to uh, ice ice tub. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The belly meat. Like that, yeah. And uh, I was calling my parents, and I was uh, speaking with my dad, and uh, suddenly he started to cry because I mean, going into the finals of the Olympic Games for us it was really a success. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I was not like in good shape, not even mentally, not even physically, but uh, I needed to go there because I wanted to see am I capable to do the things I want or I'm not. And uh, next day, uh, you know, media started to writing and talking about I should go for a medal. Uh, I was so far away from that and I was not even... Uh, I didn't even know will I gonna uh, just um, repeat the result I did in uh, qualification rounds because the pressure was even more uh, more bigger. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, it was really, really, really hard to handle with all of that things. So uh, I took some time off to just um, see. Uh, what do I really want and right. on what cost? So, yeah, I, I proceed with trainings and everything. And next year, that then comes the Moscow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, the funny thing about <laughs> that year was uh, two weeks before or three weeks before that championship, there was a uh, uh, Balkan championship. Uh -huh. well, for the competition and uh, I spoke with Goran and I said uh, of course I was not in my best shape again and never mind and uh, <laughs> I said <laughs> I said if I go I, I mean I will go to that competition and if I don't jump 665 
and that time my PB was 672. I said, I will not gonna go to Moscow. And he started yelling and we argue a lot because he said, you don't wanna go to competition and jump PB when it's not time for it. And I said, no, that's a deal. If I jump 665, I go, if not, then we don't go. And of course I jumped 665, but even though I didn't have enough confidence because a lot of struggling, I knew what I want, but uh, the progress was slow. I didn't still finding my rhythm. I was not confident in what I'm having myself. And uh, God likes to uh, remember that uh, he said, I didn't even know, are you gonna show up on the airport and go into that plane? <laughs> But yeah, I, I went there, I jumped PB682. Also the fourth girl also had that same result, uh, but second one, my was be my, mine was better. Oh, wow, so, seven medals, how about? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh! Yeah, oh. Uh, Anastasia Mironskip, she was fourth. And uh, he said it was kind of a luck. And uh, after, uh, after some time, I realized that that was like a game-changing moment mm -hmm. because it was the first time when I step on that um, uh, for the victory ceremony on the, the podium. On the podium, yeah. When I step on the podium, I realize, okay, like this is it. This is, it's so easy. I mean, anyone can do it. So. That just gave me like a whole new uh, motivation, energy, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. just to be free. And uh, when you thinking about something and when you speak about something out loud, it's totally different things. Then after that, I start to really thinking and uh, talking about my dreams and goals. Mm -hmm. So I was surrounded with the, uh, my team of people I trust, that is firstly and most uh, important thing. And uh, we started the, the discussing about the things wha which are like uh, realistic and which are not. And uh, I think with, with good communication and uh, just focusing still on what is important just for me, uh, yeah, we took medal on every single competition after that yeah uh, yeah except london when i lost my medal because of the beep but never mind hey we got, <laughs> you got the rule changed for all of us so yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> so i'm yeah. gonna ask and this yeah, is, i got something still yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is both a personal question from me and for everybody okay. else because I think for most people, they're going to look at your career and they, they hear you talk about London where you say you reached the finals, right? You reached an Olympic final. And you say, I wasn't ready mentally. I wasn't probably ready physically. And then within the next four years, you, you know, you medaled everywhere. And then you yeah. go from being an athlete that makes an Olympic final to being an athlete that is expected to and does win an Olympic medal, right? And you, yeah. you can see, and as an athlete, I know that's, it might not seem that far apart, an Olympic final, Olympic medal, but it, it, it's, it makes a huge mm -hmm. difference. What's, in your opinion, the difference between you as an athlete at that, I just made the final and the, I, I want a medal? Because, you know, last time I made the final, but I want a medal next time. So I need the tips. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you, you know by yourself, when you go to the competition, when you know you did everything that is needed to be done on every single training in every single aspect and you go to the competition and you know you're 100% ready, mm -hmm. you give your maximum. After that, I mean, what we do is uh, are like always the main focus is during one year is that one single competition, which is the biggest on that year. Yeah. And everything is just like work for that. And uh, Sometimes maybe I was capable to jump even further, but I still got the medal. And every time I finish competition, we sit down, we watch the whole competition, we, we, we watch the, every single jump over and over again, 
talking about how that looks, how did I feel, what we can, you know, change. Mm -hmm. I think I, I, I never had a leak of uh, self-expectations or I sometimes give even, deliver even more that I was capable just right. because someone tried to underestimate me or I don't know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really competitive person, but yeah. when it comes just on me. Um, I, I don't know what advice can I give you, but uh, <laughs> the main thing I think is just, you know, it's never going to be enough. Right. Uh, you cannot satisfy with anything, you know, because, okay, you're going to win this time, sometimes, some other time, any other girl can beat you. It, it's, it's, it's not working like that. You, I'm just want to see what are my limits. I'm always focusing just on myself and I'm still in sport because I don't think that I uh, reach my limits. So I'll keep, keep on pushing whatever the motivation is and I just want to see how, how far can I go. See, that's, I like that attitude because it's not as though, well, maybe you have, a, a, you know, in your own mind, an idea of I'll be happy if I reach this. But, you know, I think some people look at their career and go, I have to do this or I have to do that. But to have the approach, I just want to see how far I can go. That's, yeah. you know, it's, it's exciting. Yeah. And also, I was always thinking, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm talking to you now. You need to prepare yourself for national championship because there are always a few girls who can jump. Tell me about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and on the other side, I'm the, I'm, I'm in situation where I don't have to compete with anyone here in Serbia. So yeah. for me, it's, I miss the, those kinds of uh, competition. And uh, I think maybe if I do have that kind of competition, uh, uh, um, um, like nationally and then, yeah, I mean, that, kind of uh, rival, uh, rival. rival. Yeah. yeah. Here in Serbia, I think I maybe could produce even more. I, I, I will never know. <laughs> no, I, I think you're right. Because in, in the UK, you can be world class and still not make the team. So, yeah. Th I mean, that's yeah, crazy. We, we yeah. have to be better. We don't have a choice. You yeah. have to, if you want to go, even yeah. go to the championship, let alone make the final, you have to be yeah. at the top of your game. So that's, that's really cool, yeah. How, this is the, it's the big one for all the long jumpers. How did it feel to go over seven meters for the first time? Uh, it was, it was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was really nice. I mean, yeah. If I could, like, choose the medal and the distance, I mean, I, I, I had the distance and the, uh, medals i would always choose result over the medal really because yeah i mean even though results are gonna be forgotten medals are gonna be lost and forgotten whatever but um you know you can go to the championship uh, jump 670 and win that champion and if i choose gold medal with 670 or 725 and bronze medal then I will choose this second because I, I want to know my limits I want to yeah I want my name stays in like top 10 all time right right well I mean you're 724 was it or five it, yeah yeah that was, that was pretty high. <laughs> yeah it was yeah it was most yeah, it was totally different competition, and uh, and uh, my coach uh, from time to time loved to say to me that I'm like robot. I don't show any kind of emotions during competition. I need to, I don't know, wake up. I need to scream. I need to act like I don't know who or what. But uh, I don't like when I perform. I don't like anything comes on my way mm -hmm. when I'm focusing on something. But Belgrade was completely different because there was a lot of people who comes to see what can I do in my home country. You so I was the main event. And you know what? It was so great to be in your event because you knew 
that everyone <laughs> in the stadium was watching us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it was really, really, I mean, you felt the energy. It was really nice. And uh, I knew that it could not be uh, any, uh, it could not be different than that. So the whole competition, I was just trying to to see what, what where, where can I finish? I think yeah. that there was, yeah. I mean, and after that, we have World Indoor Championships in two, in two years. Yeah. So, um, I don't know what to expect, but i um, pretty sure with all those years of experience and all kind of competitions, I, I think I can deliver something similar, let's say. Well, because I, I think you're going to be... Hoping, so. <laughs> be there, ready to see it. But yeah, we have a few long jumpers here, like joining us. So hello, to Christabel. Really? Really, you know, I've seen a few people in the comments. Just I don't it up. Um, And do oh, yeah, feel free yeah. to answer people's questions. If you see a question that you like in the comments, feel free to interrupt me and answer a question because this is we want people to hear from you. Um, but I do want to <laughs> ask you about um, your Serbian pentathlon record. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> so you did pentathlon okay. for a while. I mean, yeah, that, one, yeah, that was... Did you like it? And two, would you do a heptathlon? Um, I mean, pentathlon I like because um, I don't know. It, it was indoor. Last time I did it, it was uh, in Novi Sad, and uh, yeah, it was all also fun thing. You know, I do from time to time. I do hurdles on the training, long jump, high jump from time to time, just from joke. I never do trainings for the long, the distance running because I'm I'm hating that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even pre <laughs> I didn't even prepare for that 800 meters. But my my said my coach said, okay, you have that record even before 800 meter race. And he said, I will tell you every. A lap, I will tell you the time, and uh, you just need to run to speed up or whatever. And I said, okay. And then I started running, and after 150 meters, he was <laughs> start screaming, and Ivana, you are late. Come on, speed up, speed up, speed up. <laughs> so uh, when I was late, after 150 meters, it was like a joke from a race. But And again, I, I broke that record. It was really, it was really nice, but... I'm not sure will I ever repeat that because I have afraid of hurdles because I, I'm pretty clumsy and uh, I always, yeah, I mean, really. And I'm always thinking if I do the hurdles, I'm going to break a leg or mm. arms. So I but give it up. fun. And yeah, it's fun. It's totally different. It's like a whole new sport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, if you ever do the heptathlon, we'll all be there to watch. One for the 800, because I hate it as much as you. I used to do it, and I hated it. I never wanted to do the long-distance training, but pentathlon is fun. I would, I would do more pentathlon, yeah. because it's, it's fun. Yes, it's fun. So, having already achieved so much, I mean, I think I know the answer because of what we've talked about, but what is it now that keeps you motivated to, like, to be as disciplined as you are, to train at this level, to live your life as this elite athlete, what is it that's keeping you going now? I think, you know, from the competition comp to competition, even though if I first, second, third, PB, no PB, doesn't matter. Uh, our year is like from competition to competition. And, uh, you know, we talk about London, 2012 and after that there was a uh, Rio where I took the bronze medal and after that I really really felt like I didn't want that bronze medal like I was losing I lost my I mean gold medal so I feel like there's something left undone mm -hmm. yeah. so I yeah I want to to see I mean for the fourth time uh, how it's gonna uh, look, since uh, in eight days I will turn uh, 30 years. Oh, <laughs> so it's eight days. Well, happy almost birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> no, it's crazy, you know. I mean, I think as I was getting older and older with more experience and everything, I learned how to keep my emotions under control and just uh, don't, never let go, let uh, my uh, body go over my head. Uh, mm -hmm. I just want to, I, I, I don't know, it's contagious. You just want to repeat and have that same feeling over and over again because I know after my career, I don't think everything I'm going to do, it's going to give me that same uh, nothing's going to be the same as these stadiums right how how are we going to replicate this we're going to spend the rest of our lives chasing a feeling <laughs> yeah yeah about that feeling is going to be yeah difficult but i mean i want to see how it's going to look in tokyo next year and i would love to to finish my career in belgrade on that world indoor championship and uh, I mean, yeah, start it's, it's perfect really isn't it the yeah, kind of, I think the way the timing is, yeah, that'd be that'd be beautiful. Have you thought? Somebody asked earlier, actually. Have you thought about what you want to do when, when you finish jumping? Hmm. I mean, there's a lot of things. I mean, from time to time, my ideas are changing, and uh, whatever I want to do, I'm just leaving that for the end, yeah. total end of the career, because. When I'm doing something, I want to be 100% in it. Every time I try to do something beside this, it was no good. The training was so and so. So um, I think the first thing I'm gonna do after I finish my career is just travel a lot around the world and and just... actually get to see it, right? Instead of just the... <laughs> instead of stadiums, hotels, and Air, airport. I mean, there's a lot of things, but yeah, I'm just want to be in this while it lasts 100%. And after that, I will, I'll be more than happy to speak about new dreams and new things to do. Nice. What about you? Uh, I want to do like <laughs> this. I like, I like interviewing people. I'm nosy. I want to hear about them and their lives. I want to do, <laughs> yeah, maybe more of this. I maybe want to sing. I don't know. I will. I will do whatever life throws at me. If somebody throws nice. me a ridiculous opportunity, I'll just say yes. Um, <laughs> I. I would love my good. life post long jump to be as ridiculous as possible. So that's what I'm. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> so, Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. We will see. This is a nice question that I've I've had sent for you. How do you hope to be remembered? as an athlete what do you hope people will say about you i mean whatever i do during my career it's like over 20 years i just wanted to show people what i do on the way that really is i mean there's no shortcuts there's no there's no easy way if you want to achieve something. And uh, the thing I'm always talking about is just uh, work, work, work. And um, I just, I don't know how I want to be remembered, but if I can choose, I will definitely say that I want to have an impact on the kids to go mm -hmm. from the streets on the stadium. Doesn't matter, is it athletics or some other sport, just to be in sport because sport me personally really made me the person I always wanted to be because what I do in sport for the sport applies to any other um, part of my um, life yeah so yeah the dedication the the passion the uh, work habits everything you can apply to any other thing that's it you can so, take it anywhere you can take what the yeah. things that we need for this you can take them out and it, it works wherever you are mm -hmm. so yeah i don't know i mean as i said the records are going to be broken the medals are going to be uh win again and uh i don't know i just want to maybe be remembered that like smiled athlete who had some impact on young children i think you've very much already done that so that's that's good news <laughs> okay then i achieve it yeah
Um, Manolo asked, has asked us a question. He was on last week. He's asked you a question. He wants to know, what is your favorite cheat meal after a big competition? Cheat meal? Uh, Nutella. Always <laughs> Nutella. There you go. Straight out of the tub. Big boom, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nutella. Always Nutella. Yeah. I mean, now... I mean, I, I think that really now everyone in this quarantine just discover a whole new uh, healthy dishes. Uh, so it's easy. It's easy to eat what you like, but you know, like not so bad for you. Yeah. yeah. You can you can make anything almost as good. Like if <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, the taste is pretty good. Yeah. Also, yeah. I try some th new things, a lot of new things, but I don't post it on social yeah. media. No, me too. But I I mean, do. A lot of the things that I try, they just look really ugly, and so I don't post them, but they taste good. <laughs> Sometimes I, I post something, and they're like, that looks disgusting. I'm like, well, it was nice, so <laughs> don't judge my meal. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just seeing if I've got any more, because there's a little question box, and people are sending things. Um, right, well, I'm gonna very quickly because you have the cutest little dogs, and I think you have cats as well. You, your animals are rescues, right? Yes, yeah, um, and, sorry, yeah. I, I, have, I have one cat which I got when I got this house, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> I have one little fluffy white dog, he's the older, older one. He's seven years old. Uh, then I have a husky. I found her on uh, Market Street. And this third one, someone threw from, from the car and left on the runway, on the road, and I rescued her. So, like, in, in a few weeks from one, I had four pets. But they're really good friends, best friends, and they do everything together. Most of the time, they are doing big messes but anyway i really love them if i have more time to to be home and be with them i would probably have more of them but i mean you've been home for the past seven weeks so they've been in heaven i'm sure because you've they've had yes. you at home yes they're really happy yeah right we are gonna i'm gonna quickly check these questions someone says what is she wearing i assume you're talking about me look don't it's fun just enjoy it. Don't question it's it. Up, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we're going to go to finish off. I'm going to take you into a quick fire round. So, Ivana, are you ready? Yeah. Shoot. Cats or dogs? Mm -hmm. Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best friend on the circuit? Mm, I mean, we share the runway, we share the pit. Uh, even though we are all competitive, I really think that we are, first of all, friends. And mm -hmm. um, I don't think that anybody else can understand any kind of frustration, emotion, good or bad, except the friends you have there mm -hmm. on the competition. So one thing that is all really common on my mind, it was Berlin last year when I got injured. Uh. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I remember it was really hard for me in that moment. It was really painful. I felt like the world is going to like, collapse and I'm on my own and everything is total disaster. And a lot of girls came to me just to give support because I know that they know the level of the pain that I felt in that moment. So th those are the things I will remember forever. Not that did I do the fault or did I finish competition first, second, whatever. I mean, friendship needs to last and uh, I'm really happy that I can say that I have friends in, a lot of friends in athletics, so I don't want to name it. Oh, that is, what a sweet answer. Like that, yeah, and I agree, <laughs> I agree. I think that having friends on the circuit, people that really understand everything because i mean yeah we've all pretty much done all the same things we've all dealt with the same things and it's and yeah. I, especially our event i think long jump is so friendly people are, i don't know it's it's nice 
Like I think oh, it's so I, nice. I agree. I agree. I really enjoy. I like. It. What is your favorite meeting on the circuit? You can pick a favorite meeting. <laughs> okay, I need to choose. Okay, let's say Zurich because that that's the place I first time when the diamond league. Nice. I'm still waiting on my first win. I'll, I'll pick my favorite when I get my first diamond league win. Um, <laughs> if, <laughs> if you didn't do the long jump, which event would you do? You know, this is the first time I'm saying this. This um, The idea of Belgrade 2017 was that I try triple jump beside the long jump. Oh. Yeah, I like the trainings and triple jump is going pretty well for me, but it's a high risk of injuries, so I always leave that on the side. But before I finish my career, I would love to try triple jump. So triple jump is my answer. What is your favorite sport to watch aside from athletics? Hi Taylor. Yeah, you have a, you have an approval for the triple jump from Christian Taylor. So there you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Really, I don't know. I'm I'm into sport. I love to see, especially when the national team is playing. I love to see whatever sport it is. Um. Oh wow, this is a big question. So these are quick fire questions. This is a big question for a quick fire. The best day of your life. That's intense. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I know. By now, by now, I think, yeah, winning the Olympic medal, mm -hmm. I think. Let, let's stick to the sport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your least favorite training session. Long distance running. And your favorite? Uh, triple jump, long jump, hurdles. Nice. Lovely, lovely. I would agree on both of those. <laughs> Jumping sessions are the most fun. Long running sessions are the least fun because we only have to run for about 35 meters. Why are you going to make me run further? Yeah, I know, I know. Well, that is everything I have for you. I'm going to check the little question box to see if anybody else yeah, has we'll anything. The same. But mm -hmm. I want to thank you for thank giving you. me your time this afternoon, for answering I'm questions. Good. It's so good thank to see you. you and to chat. It's, I'm really enjoying thank hearing you. these. Um, and I hope <laughs> that sometime this year we get to compete together at some point. I don't know if we will, but we're going to keep training just in case we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will, I will. I think we will have some answers next week, and I will be happy to share with with all of you. And I hope we we will meet this year. If not, next year is going to be long and rough, but yeah, definitely exciting. But fun, but very fun. Thank you to everybody who's yeah. tuned in, Christian. Hey, and thank you. you. It's just a Thanks to all of Ivana's fans that have come to say hi. And thank you to all of Ivana's fans that came to say hi in my DMs earlier, telling me <laughs> <laughs> they were excited to see you. So, I told you they were you. Um, this thank has been you. At Home with European Athletics with Ivana Spanovic. And I will hopefully see you soon. Bye. Bye.